Good afternoon, boys and girls. Welcome back to Eureka. Today is Wednesday, um, September 23rd, 2020. And today we're working on module three, lesson six. Boys and girls, today we're not going to have a live session because we have a very important training. Okay, let's go over our daily goal. Our daily goal is to complete your assignment and submit it with a score of 85 or higher. The materials that you're going to need for today, you're going to need a pencil, your book number two, and book number three. Book number two and book number three. You have, let's see, let's go over our expectations while you watch the video and while you work today. Make sure you sit tall. That you have all your materials ready and park. Ms. Rodriguez and I have been telling you to assign an area where you leave all your books. So when it's math time, you're ready just to open it and start working. That you participate by doing your work. That you go back to the channels or type me or reach out to Ms. Allen if you have any questions. Uh, expectation number five, six, and seven. We're not going to work on for today because we are not having a live lesson. So that means you have extra time to log into Hotspot and do all the lessons. Because remember, this week we have a challenge. Let's see who's going to meet that challenge. What are we going to work on for today? By the end of the lesson, we need to be able to write base 10 numbers in expanded form. What are we going to learn today? Remember, by the end of the lesson, we're going to learn how to say a number in expanded form. What are the important words that we need to learn today? Well, the important word is that we go over a, what's a place value. We've been talking a lot about place value. And place value is the unitary value of the digits and the numbers. And we have many place value places. We start with the ones place. And look at this number. The number is 576. The digit 6, it's in the ones place, and its value is 6. We also have the tens place. Still looking at the number 576. The digit 7, it's in the tens place, and the value it gives you, it's 70. Now, we go to hundreds. Still looking at the number 576. The number five is in the hundreds place and the value is 500. After the hundreds, we have the next unit, which is thousand. Now, boys and girls, we'll be learning different ways you can say a number. The way you write any number, it's in standard form. And today, we are going to write the number in ex. Expand it form, expand it form, you're extending it. And I want you to remember this hand gesture because it means expanding the numbers, like I'm stretching that number. Now, here are the key points. Here are the steps that you need to take to make sure that you are following so you can be successful in the lesson. The first step is that you label the number given with the HTNO. Since we're only working with numbers up to 100, you are using HTNO. Let's keep on number one or the step number one. The step two is that you write that number in expanded form. So look at this. The number that I have is 231. And since I label with HTO, I know that I have two hundreds. And the value of two hundreds is 200. Then I have three tens, and the value of three tens is 30. So I write a 200 plus 30. I have one one, so the value of one one is one. So I add those numbers together. When 200 plus 30 plus one makes 231. Now, boys and girls, we just review the key points. It's your turn to write the key points in your learn book number two. So open learn book number two, 10 seconds to open learn book number two, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 
one and zero. You should already be there. You're gonna open it, and I want you to open it to page 148. What page? Yes, 148, 10 seconds. Now, boys and girls, you should already be on page 148. And these are the key points that I want you to write. I'm gonna leave them there and I'm going to explain. So the first thing that you need to do is label the number given. Make sure you write this. I already wrote it, but I want you to write it. Label the number given and we label it with the H, T, and L. Remember hundreds, tens, and ones because this helps us to know the value of each digit. So the number that they gave me is 576. So that means I put H, T, and O. Key point number two is write the number in expanded form. And like you notice, I wrote little hyphens between the word expanded because the word expanded means stretch. And remember, that's the hand gesture that I was going to use for the word expanded. So I know I have 500. So I put up 500. Then I put a plus between the next unit which I have seven tens and the value of seven tens is 70 and I put it. Then I go to the next unit. So I put a plus because that's a unit of, I go to the next unit and it's once I have six ones and this is the value here. So you write the number in expanded form. It's so important that you remember. Look, boys and girls, I'm gonna write here ways to write the number. So pause right now, and I want you to now leave your book open and be ready because I'm gonna start teaching you. You can open your reference material if you want to, you don't have to. But if you open your reference material and you open it to the ways to show number, you can have it on the side as well. So you can have as a reference and see all the different ways that you can say a number. You can say it in standard form. You can show it in place value, which is the ones and tens. You can see it in expanded. We also, we can see it in unit unit and exp and place value is similar unit is seven tenths four ones okay boys and girls this was just a little quick reminder or refresher where you can look on the different ways you can write a number now that we just finished with the key points let's start our concept development boys and girls so read this number to me in unit form Remember, uniform is the way you say it, hundreds, tens, and ones. Are you ready? Yes, two hundred, four tens, and three ones. Thank you for answering correctly. Now, count up for me. Count up to me to 246 using the bundles and my place value boxes. Ready? 100, 200, 210, 220, 230, 240, 241, 242, 243. Each time we count in a new unit, we're adding into that the one we had before. Let's reread -read this, putting adding symbols. And we're gonna write the symbols as we read. Are you ready? So we had 100 and 100. If we meet them together, the answer is 200. 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10. The answer is 40. One plus one plus one, the answer is three. Now, we're gonna say the, un the number in unit form. Ready? Yes, 
two hundred, four tens, and three ones. Are there two hundreds, four tens, and three ones? Get ready. Yes, there is. Listen, two hundred plus forty plus three is. Get ready. Yes, 243. Now show me 243 with your zero cards. Look, these are the zero cards. 240 plus 3 is... Get ready. Yes, 243. Now, 200 plus 43 is... Yes, 243. Now you're going to give me an addition sentence that adds to the total value of each unit. So what is the total value of 243? 200. What is the total value of tens in 243? Yes, 40. What's the total value of ones in 243? Yes, 243. So 200 plus 40 plus 3 gives you 243, boys and girls. Great job. So we're ready to work this problem together. So let's open our learn book, which we already did, and it's supposed to be on page 149. Okay, boys and girls, make sure you're on page 149, which I had already told you to leave it open, and write idea 56. And 57, my Mrs. Boca Negra, the date is 4, uh-oh, sorry, it's 9-22-20, 20, and the goal is your equal square 100. So let's read the instructions, because the instruction is so important, ready? It says, write each number in, in expanded form. So remember I show you expanded mean X pand dead that I'm extra that I'm stretching that number. Ready to number in expanded form, separating the total value of each of the units. Okay, so I am ready to work. The first step it says label the number given. So I label it H T O. Then I have to write that number in expanded form. Well, how does that look like? Well, that says I have 200, so I write the number 200. And then the next unit is the 10, so I have to write a plus sign because I'm going to stretch it to the next unit. That says that I have three tenths, and the value of three tenths is 30. Then it says that I have one one, and the value is, then I add the plus, and I write the one. That is 200 plus 30 plus one equals to the number in standard form, 231. This is expanded. This is in standard form. Today we're practicing two different forms. Okay, let's do one more together. And then you're going to have to write the rest by yourselves. Okay, let's look at key point number one. Key point number one says label the number given. So I have this number. I'm going to label it H. T O. Then keep on number two says write the number in expanded form. Write the number expanded form. I see a three in the hundreds. What's the value of three hundreds? Yes, three hundred. Now I put the plus because I'm a stretch spending in. I have one ten. What's the value of one ten? Yes, 10. I have two ones. What's the value of two ones? 
Yes, two. So remember, I put a plus and it equals to two. So 300 plus 10 plus two equals to 312. Okay, boys and girls, I am going to give you five minutes to complete problems three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Let me repeat that instruction. Five minutes to record to complete these problems. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Your time starts now. I'm working if you don't forget to use the key points. Thank you for being for working hard. Make sure you're writing the unit form and the expanded form. Forty seconds.
Okay, boys and girls, let's check our work. Okay, ready? Make sure that you have HTO and that you have 500 because the five is in the hundreds, please. You put the plus because you have two tens and two tens is the value is 20 plus seven ones and that equals to 527. Now let's do the next number, 752. You put HTO, which is the unit form. You have seven hundreds plus five tens, and it's, the value is 50, and two ones, and the value of two ones is two, and that equals to 752. You're checking to see if you have the answers correct. Number five, HTO. You have 200 and the value is 200 is 200. You have zero ten, so you can put a zero to make sure you leave that space for the tens place and plus one and equals 201. Now, some of you might have done this and that it's okay. The reason that I did it like this is to make sure that I remember that I have zero tens. Now, let's go to the next one. H. T and O, 300, and the value of 300 is 300. I have 110, and the value of 110 is 10. And zero ones, it's a zero, and I leave it 310. Some of you might have done it like this, and it's okay. Uh-oh, sorry. Let me fix it really quick. Some of you might have done this. It's okay. Now, let's go to the last ones. It says 507, so I write H, T, and O. Remember, I have 500, so I have a, I have 500, so the value is 500. I have zero tens, so I write the zero tens. Have seven ones and the value of seven one is seven. Don't forget the important is make sure you put the plus signs between. And here's what you should have. If you wrote this, this is correct as well. Now let's look at the last one. It's a 750. So I have 700. I have five tens and the value of five tens is 50 and I have zero ones. So the value is 750. If you wrote this, this is correct, boys and girls. Okay, now let's make sure we practice in the back. So flip, turn your page. Now let's look in this. Okay, let's read the instructions. It says, Write the answer in number form. Write the ins instruction in number form. So I want you to cross out and write standard form, boys and girls. Number form is the standard form, the regular way. So, oh, look at this. It says, what's 2 plus 30 plus 100? Well, 2 plus 30 is 32, and 30 plus 100 gives us 132. So the answer is 132. If you can do the mental math and you know that 100 plus 30 plus 2 gives you 132, that's perfectly fine, boys and girls. Let's solve the next problem with 300 plus 2 plus 10. Well... You can solve this two together, and 300 plus 2 makes 302. Plus 10 gives you 312. Okay, boys and girls, it's your turn to solve the rest of the problems together. If you are able to do it, you know that 50 plus 200 plus 7 gives you 2. 157, it's okay, but I want to see work like this. I want to see this so that way you're able to solve. 
the problem and get the answer correct correctly. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to give you five minutes and you're going to finish problems 11 to 16. So you have five minutes. Your timer starts now. Thank you for working hard, boys and girls. You have one minute left.
and here's what you should have. Let's check. So, 200 plus 50 makes 250 and 50 plus 7 makes 257. So, this is the answer. Make sure you come back and write the answer there. So, 70 plus 50 makes 700. Oh, look, that's why it's so important to make sure that you work out the problem. Look, 70 plus, 50, 70 plus 500 gives you 570. 70 plus 2 gives you 572. And I come back and write the answer here. 200 plus 1 gives you 201, so I can come back and write it here. 100 plus 3 equals 103, so I can come back and put in here. 700 plus 5 gives you 705, I can come back and put it right here. And 7 plus 500 gives you 507. So you come back and you give it right, you put it right here. So kiss your brain if you got all the answers correct. So boys and girls. Now that we are done with this, we're going to do page 155. Make sure you write your name, date, and goal. Now, it says, remember, we're doing module two, grade two, module three, lesson six, and that's the exit ticket. So I want you to work this problems and you are going to have five minutes to write these numbers in standard form and then expand it. Remember, expand it. That means that it's a stretch. You have five minutes. Your timer might be, your timer is starting now. Five minutes, go. You have two minutes left. Keep on working. Make sure you're writing the units. You 
We have one minute left. One minute. Okay, great job, boys and girls. So let's see. Let's check your answer. This is 20, this is two, and this is 100 plus 100, that's 300. So you should have 322. If you got it correct, put a check mark. If not, fix it. This should be 476. If you got a correct check mark, if not, put an X. This is 719, check mark or X, 250. Check mark or X, 602, check mark or X, this is 332. Okay, boys and girls, if you got them all correct, kiss your brain now, you're able to write the numbers in standard form. Remember that standard form. Now we're gonna write the numbers in expanded form. We're gonna write the numbers, let me fix my document camera, and here we go. So, I have 974, I write H-T-O, and this is what you should have. You're checking to make sure you have those answers correct. Remember, if you have it correct, put an H check mark. If not, put an, eight, um, put an X and fix it. Now look at this, this can be tricky. Make sure you leave the place for the hundreds, but when I write this number and expand, the form is 30 plus five. And look, I don't have to put the equals because not the equals in front and it's telling you 35 equals to 30 plus five. It's exactly how we practice, but now they put the equals in front and the number in front. Now this one, HTO, 300 plus 10 plus zero, and the last one, HTO, 700 plus zero plus three. If you got them all correct, hug yourself and say, I am very smart. Yes, you are. So close your book now, and it's your turn to work in the stuff that you're gonna send Miss Boca Negra. So open book number three. Open book number three to page 103. And this is, boys and girls, what you're going to be send, sending Miss Boca Negra. Circle number one. You're going to solve all number one. It says match the number rows with the number name. So I'm going to give one. This one says 230. Look, this is 30, not 13. So I can cross out and write 230. And I match it with the number that looks 230. Do I see it? Oh, I found it. So then I just connect 
me go like that. That's the way you do this one. Then you have to circle number two and circle number three. And that's the picture you're going to send to Mrs. Bocanera and Mrs. Allen. Remember, no live video today, boys and girls. Thank you for your hard work. And we'll see you on Thursday and live. Bye, boys and girls.